Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to our lovely Minecraft world. Although, it's in a bit of a pickle. So, I originally recorded this episode a little while back, and it didn't come out so well. So, hopefully it comes out better this time. 1.14 has thrown a bit of a curveball at us. It is now the village and pillage update, and guess what spawned in our village? These dudes. Oh, hi. Do they see me? Maybe? No? Well, this is interesting. Okay, now they see me. Nope. These guys are super, super strong. Uh, there's this axe guy. I forget what they call him. He two hit me. Full iron armor. Two hit me. It was pretty great. So, uh, I now have this bad omen. I'm not quite sure how to get rid of it. I don't know how to start a raid if I need to do something in the village. I think uh, this might just be too old of a village to actually start a raid. So, you may have to find a regular old village to start the raid with. Because I don't think my bad omen goes away until we finish a raid. I think that's how that works anyway. I mean, they should be spawning, to my knowledge, all over the place. Um, so I set down an iron golem for these guys. I don't know if that's going to do them much good. Just because, uh, the, like I said, the pillagers are super, super, super strong. It's quite terrifying, actually. Oh, did I set down two of them? Oh, nice. I don't know. Doesn't look like they respawned. Which is definitely okay with me. I've had to fight quite a few of them recently because I keep blocking my path back and forth to the house. So, for now, I will show you guys what we did in the last episode. So, you know, as I walk away after stopping the recording, look who pops up on my screen. Oh, God. Is this the really, oh my god, I think this is the really, the really beefy dude, I think. Oh my god, yep, mm-hmm. Okay, he didn't follow me. Hey dude, before you axe me, let's just shoot you, okay? I like that idea. How am I missing? Stop missing. Nope. Alright, so get rid of that dude. They are super tough, super scary. Like I said, they too hit me, so it's really unfair. I thought I heard another one. Really, really unfair. So now our uh, area here is like scattered with them for the time being. I don't, like I said, I don't know how to get rid of that. I might do some re, again? Dude, there's so many of them. Hi, do you see me? Oh, there are multiple of them. I don't actually know how scary these guys with the crossbows are. Like up front. I don't know how powerful they are. Doesn't look like they have the best of aim. Ow. Ow. Did you stop shooting me? All right, so that was fairly easy then. The uh, the uh, crossbow, yeah, that's what they are. Crossbow guys aren't so scary. It's the Johnny Boys. That's what they're called. The Johnny Boys. Those guys are scary. They're the ones that uh, two hits. Let me make sure none are just gonna fall on top of our head here. I don't think they will, but they might. Um. Nope, I don't see any. So I think for the time being, we are okay. So guys, if you haven't noticed, we are using the new texture pack. Comes with 1.14. I don't know whether I like it or dislike it. I've been playing Minecraft for quite a while now, so it's like, it's the, I'm an old, old guy, I like the old textures, but at the same time, the new textures look pretty good too. So, you know their feelings around that. It's 
a little bit of nostalgia that makes it all that much worse and better at the same time. And nothing's wrong with new textures necessarily. But okay, there we go. So in the last episode that I sort of recorded, that I did record, um, this is what we got for the design. I still want to figure out a better way to do that door though. I worked not the well both the door and the uh, mob spawner. I feel like it's not as official as I'd like it to be. Ow. How did you hit me? That was mean. What did we get? Nothing very special. We have two of these signs now. Huh. Um. Yeah, I don't know. We'll make these more official at some point. But we had like a little chest dark wood thing going on here. And we stretched the wood all around. And floor is andesite. I don't know. It's a nice little thing. I actually spent quite a while in the last video, so don't mind editing that out. If I can, if I can click. What? There, <laughs> okay, there we go. My defense, I just woke up. All right. So that's why my voice might be a little bit scratchy too, because I just woke up. Got to get back in the game. Ah, so. This is a change. We have to make something called a grindstone, I believe, and I think we either need regular stone or cobblestone to do so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it says it's showing all, so I guess it's just not makeable? Huh. Okay, well, another project then. Alrighty, now I know it doesn't look like much, but this is what we're looking at. Just a basic outline. So I uh, mapped what specific block we want to fall on here. This is just going to be this guy. This brings us down to a nice little uh, side of it. It's not our normal entrance, but our normal entrance was blocked by the uh, spawning room. So we had to come up with a side solution. Now what I'm thinking is doing one of those bubble streams. I'll figure out how to do that because I've never worked with the new bubble stream update yet so you know i have to figure that out but i see it's fairly simple so i'm sure we can get that to work oh that was close um but yeah so i'm thinking what we might want to do is from the bedroom here have like a little middle hub so this could be like the hub right here the room where it splits into like maybe four different places so we have one that goes over there one that goes over there of course the one that goes back here and the one that goes to the mob spawner over here. I think that would be pretty cool. So yeah, let's let's get to work. Welp, that went rather badly. So first off, where do we want to start this? So my first thought was, okay, well let's make a nice glass floor. You know, that, that makes sense. Because we're in the air and it gives us a nice little view and... All that good stuff. I ran out of wood, so I had to do a lot of wood gathering. And by a lot, I mean a lot, a lot, a lot. As, you, as you'll as you see, and you've probably already seen. Um, but I think this uh, project is going to be pretty good. I'm excited for it. It, it uh, really starts defining that idea of bridging these mountains together. This is, I feel like this is the beginning of that we have a mountain that has this we have a mountain that has that we have a mob spawner coming kind of out of that hill right there we have you know our farm over there kind of thing it'll just be homey kind of like a i'm i'm missing word like a jungle home like a, a tree house kind of thing but a more uh, i guess industrialized tree house be the word for it i think I think that's what it kind of looks like, and that's that's kind of the goal. So I don't want it to look too, oh, well-built, well-foundationed, but at the same time, I want it to have a good structure. So maybe what we'll do eventually is build one of that, uh, that same kind of pillar we have under the um, farm and the main building over there. All righty. So here's what we got so far for our nice little hub here, and I actually just realized why does this not work I don't know uh, it's 
four, that's five. So I guess I could just put this as part of the wall. I like the fact that this has glass. I almost want to make the center glass too. I just don't know how that's going to look. Like if I, yeah, I like it. Gives a, uh, like you could walk into this hub room and be like, hey, I can see the ground from here. No, it's not all that cool, but hey, it is what it is, you know. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll build the walls of this. We won't worry about branching out to that mountain or that mountain. But we'll build the uh, walls and the ceiling for this and then start over on the mob farm. I hope you like that time lapse that time lapse chat if I can talk alrighty guys so like I said before I apologize that I haven't recorded at all lately I know I in the past I've never been an often recorder but uh, I gotta work on it a little bit more I work from home now so I'll have a little bit more time there and you know I I, I just moved to Colorado Springs so I've been spending the past couple of months unpacking and building furniture and just things like that so hopefully now that I'm at home and I'm doing a little bit more of something I enjoy I can spend more time with you guys so I'm super excited for that now um, while we're looking at this build this actually took me quite a few tries I uh, um, as you'll see I have a lot of time-lapse chat in this episode because of that it's that looked horrible it it just did <laughs> and then I couldn't figure out how to make the door so I had to kill the planks this was a lot of trial and error really I mean you guys will love how it turns out you know I won't uh, spoil it for you guys but it does look really nice in the end so you'll have to bear with me on my horrible designs as you can see they they definitely don't look good at all so we get there eventually. I hated to have to wait, waste all this glass, but uh, I was too lazy to to actually get. Uh, God, I'm missing the word. Fortune on it. That's that's what it is. Not fortune. Dang it. Silk touch. There we go. There's the word. So hopefully soon we'll have silk touch and we won't have to waste all that stuff. Alrighty, guys. So here's where we're at right now. We have this kind of design going on. Not, not too sure how I feel about it. I don't know. Hmm. I think maybe we'll add glass to that or something. And I feel like we should get maybe the acacia off the walls. I want to try and kind of not duplicate, but keep the same pattern that we have going over here. Make everything look good. Is he mad at me? I really hope he's not mad at me. He kind of looked like he was. But I don't see him. So uh, I want to kind of duplicate this style, which I tried to do because the acacia's here too, but it doesn't work too well when we have stone on the walls. So I don't know what we want to do there. It's an interesting conundrum. God, there are a lot of mobs down here. Look at that. Oh, God, I looked at him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't hit me off. Don't hit me off, please. I'm innocent. Okay, he, he tried. <laughs> Are you mad? Are you happy now? I think he's happy now. Okay. I think we're in the clear. So, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, God. I think I just heard him. Dick. you give up okay so I think let's see here if we I don't want to make it all stone brick but at the same time oh hello he's just gonna keep popping up isn't he <laughs> till he dies anyway um, so I definitely don't want Dude, why do you keep, like, appearing and disappearing on me? Just come up here, let me hit you one more time, and I promise it'll be quick and easy. God. Okay. So, I definitely don't want a window through here, like I was saying, for the 30th time. 
because I don't want to have to look at the uh, um, the farm we have here, which is kind of an eyesore. So we can yes, stay there, stay there. Thank you. Oh, we got an ender pearl. All right. Um. So what do we have to play with here? We have these on the side. Hmm. Could do. See, it did. I want it at an angle. Is there a way I can do that? No. Is it just gonna? Yeah, because I have to place it like that. I'm thinking maybe what we want to do, or maybe we'll just use dark wood. That's not a horrible idea. I only have slabs, so I'll have to stack it up twice. Like something like this, maybe. And then we can have... This is, this is hard. <laughs> um, let's see. If we put these here, we could make like a cool little... Yeah, I like this idea. Do we have more andesite? I don't know if we do. Hey, there's another Enderman. There are a lot of them. Alright, so let's... We're cooking up something here. I don't know what it is. Stone? Oh, sweet. We actually do need more stone bricks. Oh, you know what, though? We are in 1.14. I don't know that we can... Oh, there's... That was weird. Crafting table didn't want to work. What is that? Oh, smithing table. Okay, I got super excited for a second there. All right, let's see. So maybe if we do the rest of the pattern with some stone brick, it might look a little bit better. Just a tad bit. Not too, too much, but it, it might add some extra texture to that. What is it? I feel like we should continue the pattern up, though. Because it's, it's a nice pattern, but then if we wall it up off there... I think it kind of ruins it. So, maybe what we want to do here is leave this here. Do that, do that, do that, and do that, I think. Yeah. And then do this. Yeah, that's okay. I never said I was a good builder, guys, so... So don't go in the chat and just be like, or not the chat, the comments, and be like, man, he's horrible. Why do we watch this dude? He's just bad. I am very bad at building. I will admit that right now. Um, let's see. Let's put that there. Do we have some more of those shaved wood bits? Put those there. I like how these work as an under window kind of design. That looks good. We need more. And cut with an axe. Because that's what we do with everything. We cut it with an axe. Okay. Now I want to do something with this pillar. Maybe. Do I? needs like a dimension of some kind something to split it maybe just like a little slab no no i don't know we'll figure something out because it's really square right now so we need a little bit of something to make it look better let's see let's just make a crafting table here we're going to be here quite a bit anyway. Let's make it out of acacia because we have unlimited acacia in this biome. Set that there. What was I about to make? Stairs, but we only have dark wood. Can I make this into regular dark wood again? No. Well, dang it. Uh, let's see if I have some dark wood and full blocks. Otherwise, I may have to grab some more. Luckily, we have a good amount of that around, too. Uh, let's see. 
woods. We have th we have three blocks. All right. Well, I will grab some more dark wood and get that ready to go. So now I'm trying to figure out what I like better, this door style or this one. They're both a little bit creative. They're out of the box. They're not so straight like this one. I think I might change those doors in there depending on what I think of this because those do look a lot more creative. They just look cooler. So uh, I almost feel like I want to go for this really open one. See now it gives you a nice little look down but you know, at the same time, this one does too, and feels a little bit more cozy, I guess? I don't know. I mean, I guess they don't really change how uh, much room you have, but this one looks more open. I like that. Yeah, I think I like that one better. So, we got creative with doors. I got a ton 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 why why did you do that that's mean okay so i got a ton more spruce wood for us or not spruce dark wood god stop doing that so yeah i like that let's do that to each of these and see what it looks like afterwards oh and let me just show you guys what i did to that too we need some more wood. Do I have dark oak planks? Okay, there we go. So this is what I did for the lighting in this room. I have this and this and this. I personally like that. It gives it a little bit more of a nice look. I don't know though. I might use the campfires now that I think about it. That might look really good these builds like if we put these into slabs and then put a campfire in the middle oh that uh that might look cool actually i'm not I'm, I'm mixed on that at the same time though we could put like a chimney here or something like a campfire and then a little chimney and then we could cut these down and have just a torch here yeah that's that sounds like a cool idea Let's see what that looks like. I think it looks nice, and it seems to light this place up very, very well. It makes the lighting much simpler. It's cozy, so we can sit right here now and not burn ourselves. Yeah, the only thing I have against it is this, but I don't know what else to do there. I mean, I guess we could later on just make that part of the ceiling. So when we build up the ceiling, we just have that go out. Because that'd be kind of cool to see from the outside. Just see the smoke going up. That'd be really cool. Maybe we could hook up like a daylight sensor to it. I don't know if they respond to redstone or not. But if they do, or maybe even then we could put like a piston or something over it. And push the piston in when it's daytime. And just have the natural light come in. And when it turns nighttime, the piston retracts and makes campfire come up. That sounds like a cool idea. I think we might do that. However, guys, I think it's time to start wrapping up this episode. We didn't get too much done today, but it was a bit adventurous. We discovered we, we have bad omen, and there are pillagers all over the place. Haven't seen any since, but I'm sure they're spawning somewhere. And we started on our nice little hub home over here, which looks pretty cool from the outside, actually. Yeah. Can't wait to have that fireplace up there. We'll have to have some, like, three-dimensional kind of stuff coming out here. I mean, I know it's a three-dimensional game, but we may want just something sticking out. Maybe the roof will make it look a little bit more in-depth or something. I guess we can do something to the wall here to make it look like that. But at the moment, it's coming along pretty well. And then hopefully at some point we'll get to that entrance. So, thank you guys for watching. It's always a pleasure, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye for now.